Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to my let's play of Resident Evil Zero HD Remaster. Just going to be continuing today with uh, the needle that we found the last time. Uh, I believe it's for the clock uh, section, so we're going to try and head up there and uh, see what that gets us. Right, uh, wait, this isn't the clock area, but I think I know the little bit of a shortcut through this area to get the clock, thankfully. Right, so here we are back in the clock room, and uh, check out our inventory, who's got the, yeah, we've got it on uh, Billy here. Now, was it the clock itself? Yeah, it seems like it. Minute hand is missing from the dial. Okie doke. Uh, we'll use that. I'm going to build clock move the hands, yes. Now, if I remember correctly, it said that was 8.15, so let me think here. Uh, we want the big hand, the minute hand on. Oh, I didn't want to move it left. Right will be a little bit quicker, but never mind. <laughs> so there's uh, 15, and we want the little hand on 8, I think, because uh, if you remember from a few episodes back, we found something that mentioned 815 as being a code. And there's nine and eight. Uh, okay. And that's open the door. Uh... Oh, a couple of doors. <laughs> right. Um, probably both can't get down here at the same time, can we? Can we? No, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, so we'll both head back down there together. See if we get any more uh, crows on the rooftop. <laughs> Hate those damn crows. Right, we've got somebody in here by the sounds of things. Hopefully it's not ah, one of those horrible uh, guys that don't go down easily. I'm trying to hit these guys with the uh, control scheme is such a nightmare. Uh, reload. Anybody else in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, there's a projector. Uh, get those bullets. Actually, who's got the bullets? Uh, you do. That's fine. Then you can grab those. Right. Uh, anything else of interest in here apart from the projector? Doesn't look like it. Right, uh, microfilm projector. You got some microfilm, you could view its contents. Well, guess what we do on the screen? View some view its contents on the screen. It's got two slots and I've only got uh, one. Alright, uh, insert, did I not just, I think I did insert, didn't I? So we'll go view. Right, so that's uh, one image and then I'm guessing it's a picture of somewhere. Yeah, I've already seen that room. At least I think I have anyways. But uh, I'm guessing the, once you get the second card in there, that's going to show something else. An overlay on top of the first one, perhaps. Uh, is this map anything? It's a large map of the world. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Right, uh, now we're struggling a bit for clues, I think. Uh, what have you got? Uh, lighter fluid, I'm going to uh, exchange the lighter fluid. Right, to combine that with his lighter, right. Uh, examine. The lighter is full of fuel. Now, I missed uh, that as an idea the last time around, which I really should have uh, thought about, but I uh, guess my brain just wasn't in gear the last time that recorded. <laughs> so I think we're going to try and use this with the, uh, the candle on the upper floors. Right. Oh, can't uh, steer properly. <laughs> Almost burnt out. Uh, use the lighter. Right. That's all lit up. Let's see what is going to happen. The lock sounds like it's uh, unlocked. Let's head on through. All 
Alright, anybody else? Got some uh, grenades. Uh, right, so I guess on top of this little step thing. Uh, the filing cabinet is in a state of total disarray, but there doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Okay. It's a still life painting of fruit in a basket. Some of the fruit in the painting is rotten. Uh, this looks suspiciously like it can be puffed. Let's hope we're moving it the right way. Right, and what is this? It is good. Take the book of good. Uh, okay. So does that mean there's uh, an equivalent book of evil? <laughs> uh, right back down there. I think we're going to uh, get a look inside that book just in case it's been hollowed out or anything and something hidden inside of it. Uh, examine. Uh, open the book. Yes. Aha. Well, it seems like my suspicion was right about uh, one of the statues being missing something. Or maybe even both of the statues being missing something. So let's uh, go back into the main hall and fix that uh, white angel. Alright. So just through here. Oops. Can't find the corner. <laughs> And back through the double doors. Now I'm really hoping that uh, this will unlock something useful because I'm beginning to run out of ideas and uh, key items to experiment with. So the statue, the one on the right. No, oh, I haven't got enough room for it. Right, um, let's pass those on to Rebecca if she's got room, which she does. Exchange. Oops, I don't mean exchange a bloody gun. <laughs> right, that'll do the trick. Take the right hand statue. And combine the two items together. Right. No, I don't want to move. I want to place. Uh, use that one. Now, of course, the white is heavier than the black because the black is still missing a piece. Now, what have we got? Uh, not a lot of ideas here. Well, I do know one thing. If you're going to carry the grenade launcher, you might as well have the grenades to go with it. We'll give our bullets all over to Rebecca to create a little bit more space. Um, let's have a look at our map. Um, oh, yes, of course, now I remember. Well, uh, a couple of the clock doors had uh, opened up, hadn't they? Let's have a look in there. There's one of them. Completely new room in here, so I've no idea what to expect. Um, a verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun, and the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to heaven. Well, I've got no idea what that could be referring to yet. Oh, bloody hell. Anybody else in here? Yep, there's somebody else. Are you dead? Can I see another bit of uh, microfilm for the protector? Oh, please turn your uh, gun correctly and reload it. 
Oh wait, you can't reload because Rebecca's got all the bullets. <laughs> right, uh, I need to swap to her anyway because uh, she's got the shotgun ammo, I think. And that caution is uh, getting really quite worrying. Uh, get the microfilm. What else have we got here? Oh yes, we need that green herb. It's probably not going to be quite enough to get us into... Uh, oh wait. Use it. That'll be the best option, I guess. Yeah, only gets us halfway through caution, as caution apparently has two stages. This fire looks like it was lit only a short while ago. Books were scattered on the floor. Okay. Uh, is that literally the only item that was in this room? It's an empty picture frame. The picture seems to have been taken out. Okay. Well, we've got a microfilm to work with. And uh, I think there was another door, perhaps, that was unlocked with the uh, with the clock. Right, so let me think. Uh, where was the projector again? It was downstairs, wasn't it? Not up here. <laughs> Right, almost where we want to be. Through the uh, corridor with that horrible creature in from the previous episode. <laughs> Oops, turned the wrong way. And down here, through into the projector room. Right, uh, where is it? There it is. Stick the silver film in. Do you want to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F? Okay, there's something written on top of the picture of the seats. Okay. That should be straightforward to remember. But what is it? Ooh, what is it referring to? Uh take the MO disc, right? Well, I know exactly what that's going to be for. Microfilm image. An image resulting from overlaying microfilms A and B. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. Okay. So 0 to 9 and then A to F. All the way from the top left to the bottom right. And for some reason the D's got a weird little strike in it. Okay. Have a quick uh, look at my map. I know that we want to head back to the conference room. I'm checking for other uh, closed doors at the moment. Uh, that's higher up, I think. Uh, yeah, there's a locked door in the conference room. I'm beginning to wonder if that's uh, going to open up once we use the projector. And there's also another door on that floor, on the little diagonal corridor. This uh, little section here. Right, anyways, let's get back to the uh, projector room. Eh, not the projector room, sorry, we're already in the projector room. The conference room. Right, uh, so we'll just nip over here, and I think this is where the computer disc category wasn't, or was it? Uh, yep, looks like it. Uh, assistant disc required, and we happen to have one right here. Flashy about it. The label reads Security System Version 1.02. It's probably used to activate some sort of security system. Nope. Well, let's use that. Access complete. Release system activated. Please input code 2D. Okay. There's no input device nearby. Okay. So, uh, that was zero, one. So, this one here should be number two. And three on the far right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A, B, C, and D. This should be this one here, right? 
Now we need to change you guys, uh, partner, back to solo. So that we can split up. And you move back to uh, number two. That was one, that should be two. So uh, we press that one. And then quickly swap back to uh, Rebecca and press that one. And what has this done exactly? Aha! Is that both sets of night doors? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, three sets of night doors. Okay, intriguing. Right, well, we'll spot this note here, which we never noticed before, so we'll grab that, have a quick look. Regulations for trainees. Training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honour to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. Okay, okay. Is there anything else lying around here? Seeing as I missed that the first time around and uh, I only just spot it now on the benches I'm Want to check all the benches in case there was anything else? No, it looks like that's all there was. Alright. So, uh, we've got a few night doors open. I think one of them was maybe in here? Yep, looks like it. Let's uh, head on through and have a quick look. Oh, bloody hell, you don't, do you? Alright, let's swap back to Rebecca and hopefully he's going to be safe for a few moments. <laughs> ah, getting stuck on everything. Rebecca, where are you? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> earlier by mistake, didn't I? <laughs> right. Are you dead? Uh, I think you might be. Yep. Anybody else in here? Uh, doesn't look like it. Although the candle itself is old, its flame is burning brightly. Uh, okay. Else do we have in here because we skipped past a lot of bits and pieces. All doors in here. Uh, let's have a quick look at the map, give myself an idea where we are. Huh, just a single room there, it looks like. Um, oh, I didn't mean to bring the map back up. I meant to put the partner option back on. Right, let's have a look in here. We have we have some bullets. Uh, not a lot else. A few chess pieces. I wonder if that's going to be a puzzle. <laughs> Grenade rounds. Uh, ink ribbons. I'll carry those. Billy, have you got room for those ink ribbons, mate? You do. Awesome. Right. Uh, Anything back here? You would think there'd be something here. Yeah. Um, it's a chessboard. The game appears to have ended in checkmate. So do I need to recreate that uh, scene down below? Let's uh, get a photo of that for a moment so that I can uh, remember what it actually looks like. All right. Um. We've got the Rook, the King, and the Rook. Uh, the 
thing needs to move down one corner. Um, he needs to be one to the right from where he is, but how are we going to move the rest of these pieces? That's uh, where this whole puzzle is going to lie, I suspect. Uh, the Black King should be in the top left corner as well. Uh, the pool needs to stay where it is. Right, so the king's already in the top left corner where he needs to be. Uh, so we'll need to move him back to there. Uh, move you... Oh! What the hell? Right, well, uh, we'll not be doing that again, eh? <laughs> Right, well, coming up on the uh, half an hour mark, so we'll uh, leave that there for uh, this episode, and we'll see you guys next time.